Slave City fam, what is up? It is Art and Bobby coming at you on the west side of Chicago, about to go into big lots because I've heard y'all. You've been saying, Bobby, can you please not get run over? And can you please do more budget haul videos? So I've been wanting to come to big lots for a while because they have unbeatable prices on some really good options, but it's kind of hit or miss, right? I've been doing my research. It's like a scavenger hunt. You go there, you might find some good stuff. You might not. So let's go inside and see what we find at big lots. Uh, like, subscribe, share, you guys. The only way this channel keeps growing is by you spreading that love clicking the bell icon below the video so you get notified of live streams and videos like this and I also want you to check out Thrive Market Thrive Market has all of your favorite natural organic paleo clean eating Bobby approved items for cheaper than the grocery store on average, you save about $32 compared to going to the grocery store. Plus their website is great to navigate by any kind of dietary need. You get a 30 day free trial and the box comes to your door. And for being a Flav City fan, you get a uh, gift for first time customers up to $24 using my link down below. I love Thrive Market and I think you're gonna love it too. Now let's go in big lots and do some shopping. Are you kidding me, you guys? This is insane. They have one of the best in class, actually the best in class mac and cheeses on the market. It's Annie's Organic Grass-Fed Cheese Mac and Cheese. Stop the presses for a dollar? This is like three or four dollars at most grocery stores. And the reason why I love it is they swap out GMO conventional cheese with organic grass-fed 100% pasture-raised cheese. This is the kind of stuff you want to give your kids if you're going to give them mac and cheese. Yes, it's made with the traditional macaroni noodle, but the cheese is best in class. You compare that to like the stuff Art and I grew up on. Craft mac and cheese in the blue box. This is garbage in my opinion. This is best in class for the same price. That is amazing. I would scoop that all day, every day. And there's a few more things here. Like this is so close to being Bobby approved. I like these grain packets that are pre-cooked uh, because they're very, oh, go ahead. Don't worry about us. Uh, they're pre-cooked and they're very easy to use. This is organic long grain brown rice. The only ingredient I don't love here is that it's cooked in sunflower oil. What I would do actually is uh, Aldi. Aldi has these 90 second grain packets that are pre-cooked. They're organic, cooked in olive oil. This is so close to being Bobby approved, uh, but I can't quite do it. This wall has some interesting stuff. Look at this art. There's flaxseed meal, Bob's Red Mill, a big thing for 450. That's actually a good price. Flaxseed meal is milled up into like um, powder. So you can put that in your smoothies and it's loaded with omega-3s, fiber and protein. It's just kind of funny that it's right next to <laughs> one of the most toxic things ever. This is a uh, yum yum sauce. Have you had this art? Nope. I've never had this and I don't, I don't call this yum yum because it's made with GMO soybean oil, GMO corn syrup, tons of preservatives, polysorbate 80. This is like a chemistry experiment gone wrong. So how much is this? $4. That's not even a good deal. Oh, uh, what else is here? There we go. Art and I just saw this. This is traditional German salad. Art said, what? Product of Poland. That is awesome. But actually this is, this is Bobby approved because look, it's fiber rich cabbage, which doesn't have to be organic. Celery, celeriac, red pepper should be organic, but it's okay and sugar, but we're talking one gram of sugar. This is a nice fiber rich side salad that I would totally crush all day. Let's see what else is here. Nothing else over here, but uh, man, that scoop of the uh, grass fed mac and cheese was the bomb. Let's move on. They seem to have a lot of cereals here, but they're all sugary garbage in my opinion, but they do have one of the best in class oatmeal. Check this out, Art. They have Bob's Red Mill organic old fashioned rolled oats here. And it's how much? $5 for a 32 ounce bag. That's not a bad deal. And organic is a must when it comes to oats because we've talked about this before. Conventional oats score high in glyphosate, the active ingredient in Roundup. Um, so organic is a big plus there. They also have the steel cut ones here, which is Art's preferred oat of choice. Uh, they're not organic, so I probably wouldn't get it, but that price for the um, steel cut pinhead oatmeals is actually pretty good. And then they have other oats here and oatmeals and granolas I would stay away from. But if we check out right here are snack bars. Look at this. Uh, snack bars can be a minefield, but they have one of the best ones. Lara bar. This is insane in the membrane. It's five bars for 280s. And I love these because all Lara bars are sweetened with dates. So they're paleo and they're very clean, simple ingredients. So yes, it does have 18 grams of natural sugar in there, but that's a paleo sugar from dates. Any of the ones they never have natural flavors. 
This is a four, oh, four dollars for the uh, blueberry versus the cinnamon roll. It's still a great deal because if you compare that to something like kind bars, right? I know a lot of people like these granola bars here. I would avoid them because even though they're made with whole grain oats, it's non-organic oats, so high in glyphosate, sweetened with cane sugar, canola, GMO, highly processed canola oil, probably low quality honey, more sugar from tapioca syrup. So this has nine grams of added cane sugar. You don't want that. You're much better getting off a, a paleo, a grain-free bar like Lara Bar here. At that price, this price is crazy, 280. Oh, there's eight. Oh, thank you, Art. See, this is why Art is the accountant. He always fact checks me, so that's great. And this is $3 for the peanut butter banana, which is a lovely combination. So I would get that. Then if we turn around here, they have a lot of, people always ask me about Bobby approved energy drinks. There's none, they're all garbage, whether they have real sugar, fake sugar, tons of preservatives, but they do have a decent amount of tea here. Look at this Art. They have organic jasmine green tea. Probably not loose leaf, but it is good to get organic when it comes to tea. And then we're all about sleepy time teas. We did that uh, video to help you sleep better the other week. If you haven't watched that, check it out. They have a lot of uh, sleepy time infusions here. It's not organic, but it's going to have um, a chamomile and stuff. This is not a bad option for $2.50 for the cute little bear there. That's like me at 9.30. That's me on the couch after watching uh, Rami on Hulu. Then I go to sleep. <laughs> Okay, that's it. Let's move on to another uh, section. Wow. There's a couple really interesting drinks here, Art. Let me show you. This is so close to being Bobby approved. It's fruit and birch water. I've never seen this before. First of all, it's 50 cents, which is crazy. But it's a keto drink because, look at this, it's organic birch sap, which I guess is high in electrolytes, sweetened with erythritol, organic pineapple juice concentrate, uh, natural flavors is really the only bad ingredient here. But look at this. It's nine carbs, but eight sugar alcohol. So one net carb and the sap here has micronutrients and electrolytes. So not terrible for 50 cents. And this is really interesting. Once again, Thirsty Buddha. I love Buddha. This is my favorite brand now here at Big Lots. $1.54 coconut water with pulp, no added sugar. Look at that. It's just water and pulp. So sure, it has 20 grams of natural sugar but there's no added sugar and the pulp has some MCTs in there and some good saturated fat. So that's super cool and probably the best options here at Big Lots. All right, we have entered the baking aisle and they have some interesting stuff here like almond flour. They have Bob's Red Mill almond flour, but this is a little strange, you guys. Look at the price. It's $9.75 for a one pound bag. You can get this, well, first of all, at Costco for about $4.50 a pound. Even Whole Foods is $7 a pound. That's very, very pricey, so I don't quite get that. I was just telling Art, they have dried marshmallows here. It's basically all the marshmallows from the Lucky Charms <laughs> bag here. You don't want to get that one. But they do have some other stuff in the baking side. Art said there's a wall, though, and she's always after me, Lucky Charms. Uh, they have some interesting stuff in the baking aisle. Hello, keto, diabetic-friendly sweetener. This is golden monk fruit sweetener. It has pretty much the same flavor as uh, the regular one. 350 is not bad for a uh, eight ounce packet. So that's really cool to see that. And then check this out, Art. They have coconut flour, a fantastic flour for breading and dredging. So if you wanna make like keto pork chops, you dredge it in this instead of flour. 275 is actually a fantastic price for a one pound bag. So that's really cool. Uh, there's not too many other cool pa uh, paleo or keto flours here, but I did see some good, uh, salt over here check this out art so all these spices here i would not get they're inferior spices this is the kind of salt you want to stay away from because it's bleached and processed and has no minerals in it but look what they have art they have the good himalayan pink salt here how much is this stuff wow three dollars for all of that himalayan rock salt ideally you want to have a grinder to grind it with um, this is probably the best one you can do here because this salt is actually pure unrefined from the pakistani mountain rain re region whereas this salt here is bleached and processed we have whole videos about this but unrefined salt is where it's at i love celtic sea salt but this is a great second choice and for that price i would definitely get this to cook with let's see what else is here and then we have a video coming out either next week or maybe it came out two days ago about olive oil 
I would never buy any of these budget extra virgin olive oils because they're basically not real extra virgin. They're usually rancid, fake, or cut with other oils. Um, if that video is out, I'll leave a link, but stay on the lookout. There's a big, big scam and uh, unknowing stuff in the extra virgin olive oil industry. Um, I think that's it for here. Let's move on. I love, love, love these fruit jerky bars by Soli. And normally I see them at Whole Foods. They're a dollar fifteen, and what it is? Check it out. It's fruit leather, but it's soft and chewable. Look at the ingredients: organic mango, dried chili, and salt. But they also have pineapple and coconut, pineapple and or mango and well, that's the one we just had. Either way, this is a really great snack. Uh, that's paleo and super clean with no added sugars. And then I've seen two different varieties here of dried cheese. This is the moon cheese that I've talked about before. And then right over here is parm crisps. These are great uh, keto gluten-free crackers. But the thing is, they're $3. I don't think that's a really good price per se. I mean, it's, in most grocery stores, it's three bucks at Costco. It's a way better deal. I'm starting to notice a theme. Some things here at Big Lots are gangbusters prices. Other are just average or not even that good at all. But it's all about, you know, finding and seeking and hitting the right lottery, I guess. Oh, they have some really interesting dried fruit here before. Have you ever seen dried crispy cantaloupe or dried crispy pear before? That's crazy. But once again, the price is not that decent. It's six fifty dollars here for crispy cantaloupe. And there's how many ounces here? Two? That's, that seems expensive to me. That comes out to like $50 a pound. I can't, I can't buy that. There's no way. Um, but right next to it is something super cool. Look at this. Hungry Buddha. I've seen a few of these Hungry Buddha brands here. Uh, coconut chips. Look at the ingredients here. Ah, uh, wait a second. These have cane sugar. I could have swore I saw one with coconut sugar. So this is a no, but let's go to like the bargain basement on the end cap. I could have swore I saw one over here. Yeah, here, check it out. Here it is. Once again, Hungry Buddha, Rochez de Chacha. Waldo, look at that art. That's crazy. This, this one has coconut nectar. All right, Waldo is gone. Very close quarters here at Big Lots. But so this is still the same company, Hungry Buddha. This one has coconut, then coconut nectar or coconut sugar, pumpkin seeds, all these beautiful seeds. There is a touch of cane sugar, but I like the fact it's at the end, not in the front like the coconut nectar seven grams of added sugar primarily of coconut nectar with a half a cup serving this is the hungry buddha i want and this one's organic so maybe that's why and it's 281 good deal for sure all right this is just an honorable mention for art because you saw this when we were over here this has your name on it art right oh no i want to buy it just for the sake of getting the pitcher funnel combo i've never seen one of those I'd rather make my own shoe pastry and do the funnel cake but that thing looks pretty cool and the funny thing is i only see this at really like budget basement bargain places. I've seen it at Aldi before. This is a funnel cake made with soybean oil, artificial flavor, all the stuff that you don't want, but it is kind of nifty. I agree, it's up Arts Alley, but we had to mention it. <laughs> all right, fam, that is it. We came, we saw, we conquered big lots. I don't know about you, Art. I was kind of impressed with a lot of stuff there. Some of the prices were rock bottom, but other stuff that actually wasn't even cheaper than most grocery stores. So you got to hunt and pick and find the best options. Uh, you know what I really want to go to art that we don't have around here. I want to check out a big box outlet and a grocery outlet. I keep seeing pictures that you guys are sending to me. The prices are crazy and the Bobby approved items are next level. So that's it. I want to hit more budget friendly places. Leave comments down below. Let us know where art and I should go. Like, subscribe, share. The only way this channel keeps growing, the only way we help you put the best stuff in your body is by you spreading that love. The sun is very strong but i got two more videos below me right now art and i will see you very soon and we leave you like we always do hashtag keep on cooking mad love and peace later